video is going to be a basic introduction on how to use Jarvis. If you're a complete, complete beginner, beginning from, from, from nothing, and you have seen maybe some uh, tutorials out there and you think they're too advanced, if that's you, this video is for you, right? Uh, I'm mainly going to talk about the long form content editor, boss mode, and how to give commands to Jarvis. All right, so let's actually jump into the editor. Um, we're gonna start here and we're gonna start from scratch because uh, this option is if you are actually writing a blog post, uh, which we're not, we're just gonna get Jarvis to write um, random things. And so we're here. And I think that the reason why most people get confused is actually because it is pretty fucking confusing. Um, the, the, this is basically just a word processor and there's not a lot going on on the interface that lets you know how to achieve what you want to achieve. Uh, but believe me, this Jarvis thing <laughs> is so powerful. So I'm gonna explain right now. To get Jarvis to, to write what you want him to write, there are two main ways to do that. There's compose, and there's a compose button at the bottom, and there's a command. Now there's no command button, button anywhere on the interface. You have to rely on short keys on your keyboard. Uh, but let me go briefly talk to let me talk about briefly on what the compose button does versus what the command does and how they compare. So let's begin with the compose button because it's been uh, the legacy. It's been what has always been there. The compose button has always been there. So when you want to start writing, uh, let's say you have already written a sentence and you want Jarvis to continue writing a, a sentence or two more on where you're currently writing about. So let me make that clear by doing an example. Um, people should not trust AI because so when I start writing on my content editor and I hit compose what Jarvis does is that it's gonna read up to 2,000 characters or two or three thousand characters I can't remember the exact number but it's gonna read up to three thousand characters from where my cursor is and it's gonna get the context, it's gonna do some magic, and it's gonna continue writing along those lines. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit compose, and it should give me reasons why people shouldn't trust AI, right? It's not alive, it's too smart, and C, dangerous, all right? So you can see that sometimes Jarvis gets the format kind of weird, so we have to fix that. Right, so we fixed that. People should not because it's not alive, too smart, dangerous. Right, so I just got Jarvis to write to expand my idea by hitting the compose button. Now that's different than the command button, and I'm gonna skip all the way to the bottom of the of the editor to write a command for Jarvis. Uh, so I'm gonna give the uh, a similar command, so or I'm gonna give a command to Jarvis so that Jarvis can write a similar content than what I achieved previously by hitting the compose button, right? So instead of starting to write and then hitting the compose button, I'm gonna give a command to Jarvis so he can write exactly, or well, maybe not exactly, but he can start writing the same thing. So give me a list of reasons why humans shouldn't trust AI, all right? So that's my command, and to execute the command, I need to hit, if I'm on Mac, I hit Command Enter, or if I'm on PC, it's Control Enter. You're gonna see that as I hit the, execute the command, it's gonna highlight the whole sentence, and it's gonna read that sentence as a command, and then give me the output. And basically, it gave me the same output. Now, the reason why it gave me the same output is because when I hit 
execute command, it actually read this. And because it's seen there's already some reasons here, then it's going to use those same reasons right here on my command because it's, it's, it's getting the facts from here. A lot of times people ask, Jarvis is not getting the facts right. How do I get Jarvis to get the facts right? Well, the way you get Jarvis to get the facts straight is that you actually write the facts. So, for example, uh, Jarvis is taking this, this list as a fact and then it gave me as an output the same reasons as if they were facts, right? So that's, that's how you get Jarvis to write facts. Um, but to continue, uh, make uh, explain the difference between compose and and hitting and giving Jarvis a command. Um, what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to turn this sentence into my main headline. And what this does is that Jarvis understands that this whole document is about this, right? So when I hit compose again, it's gonna it's gonna be different because now Jarvis knows that this is the main idea. It's not gonna deviate too much. It's gonna try to not deviate too much from this main idea because I told Jarvis that this is the H1 header one, which means the main header, the main headline, and Jarvis is gonna try to not deviate too much from that. Now if I do the same with the subheadlines. And I turn this list into subheadlines. So I'm going to turn this into a subheadline, this on a subheadline, and this also as a subheadline. So if because this is a subheadline, if I hit compose it um, right here, it's gonna hopefully it should write about um, it should expand on this reason. So let's do let's see what Jarvis does. It should expand on this reason. Okay, that's interesting. So what Jarvis did instead is that he continued writing the list, which is not the format that it, which is not exactly what I want him to do. Uh, and Jarvis is gonna do that sometimes. So I uh, I need to help him. Sometimes I can just try it again, and it's gonna get it right. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what it does this time. So it's it's trying to continue writing uh, the list of reasons why it shouldn't trust uh, AI. So instead of just hitting compose, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to help Jarvis understand that I want a paragraph. And I'm just literally going to start writing the and hit compose. And now I'm, I'm, Jarvis got the idea that I want a paragraph instead of uh, uh, continuing the list of reasons, right? And you can see that he wrote the problem with these arguments is that they're not really against AI. Okay, so he wrote something about this and wrote about aliveness and yada, 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 right? So by hitting compose, Jarvis is understanding the context. And the context is that I told Jarvis that this is my main idea of the, of the article and that this is the current context of the main idea that I'm writing about. The main idea is reasons why we shouldn't trust AI, but the current context is specifically because we shouldn't trust it because it's alive. And once I come here, the current context is that it's too smart. So if I hit compose, hopefully it, start, it starts creating a paragraph. But again, it's doing the same thing. So what I'm going to do next is that um, I'm going to um, just delete it and try it again. But sometimes Jarvis also what it does is that it mixes the different formats. So that's what it did here. In the beginning, it gave me a list and then it continued with a paragraph. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna delete the, par the list and I'm gonna continue with the paragraph. And hit compose again and it should continue talking about this idea. So that's how you get Jarvis to write about a subject and that's how you give Jarvis context. By um, telling Jarvis that this is a headline, you're telling Jarvis that the current that this that it should emphasize this context, right? So compare that to 
giving Jarvis a command. So let's go, let's come down here and I'm gonna delete uh, this whole thing just so that Jarvis uh, doesn't repeat himself. Uh, and I'm uh, again, I'm gonna turn this into headlines so that Jarvis understand the context that I'm trying to give him. But instead of hitting compose, I'm gonna um, give Jarvis a command. Um, uh, so we're going about reasons why we shouldn't tr trust AI. AI isn't alive. And so I'm going to hit what are some arguments that um, contradict this idea. So I'm basically asking Jarvis why, if there are some arguments that we can make that Jarvis could be alive, right? And I'm gonna hit command enter to tell Jarvis that I want this answer, this specific question answered, and that's what I did. AI is not alive, but it's more than just a machine. So he gave me an argument, it's not alive, but it's more than just a machine. So you can see it's different. With a command, you're telling Jarvis to be more specific, you're telling him exactly what to write about, Whereas when you hit compose, it's simply going to continue writing uh, your idea, like right here. And then you can use uh, headlines to give uh, context to Jarvis. So when I hit compose again, I want to make this point clear. If I hit compose, what Jarvis is going to do is that it's going to read this whole thing, the, the previous two to 3,000 characters, and understand the context. Uh, if I do the same here, uh, if I give Jarvis a command or I hit compose, it's going to read the previous 3,000 characters, try to get the context, and write based on that context, right? So this is the basic, basic idea. Actually, no, there's one more thing. Because as, as, as you're using the long-form content editor, there's also here the, the left sidebar. And how you can use this is that you can tell uh, the title, you can tell um, the, the Jarvis what the title of this um, article is all about, which is basically doing the same, the same than setting this as an H1. Um, so as far as I know, having an H1 here or having a title achieves basically the same thing. Um, however, the content description is very useful to have a content description written here because here's where you tell Jarvis what's the format, what exactly you're writing. Is it an ad you're, that you're writing? Is it, an, is it a book? Is it a list? What is, is it a video script? So in this case, it's uh, it's an article. This is an article that talks about the reasons why humans can't trust AI. So what you're telling, basically, by filling out this content descript description or content brief, what you're doing is that you're giving, you're telling Jarvis that this whole, uh, this whole document is an article and that's very important because it's going to take that into context so that it can write headlines for you, so that it can write, uh, uh, so that it can match the type, uh, is it a formal tone of voice, is it a more casual tone of voice, if I'm writing an article it's going to tend to be more on the formal side Whereas if I'm writing, if I tell Jarvis that this is a letter, then it's going to be, it might be uh, more casual. If I tell Jarvis that it's a business letter, then it, again, it might be a, it might take a more, a more formal tone of voice, right? So it's very important on what you write here. Because every time that you hit compose, Jarvis is going to read, like I said, what you previously wrote but it's also going to read uh, the content description and the title. And if you want him to use specific keywords, mostly for SEO, then it's gonna try 
to use those keywords. It might not use them, but it, it's going to try to use them. Um, so that's the fundamentals on how to use the long form content editor. Uh, if you have questions, let me know where you want me to take this guide because I, I, I would like to create a guide, an ultimate resource for you guys so that you guys can understand how to actually get started because I I've, I've sense that most people haven't really started writing a lot of content because you're, they're confused on what Jarvis can do for them and what Jarvis can do for them. All right. So let me know what you think and where you want me these guides, where, where you want me to take these guides. All right. So see you on the next one.